thank you so much for being here. And Dr. Turner, thanks for joining us also. Oh, thanks thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Well, I'm going to start uh, with you, Dr. Wallace, first of all. How, we're going to be talking about Live Free 999. Can you tell me your uh, intersection with this? Yes, so I started Live Free 999 after the death of my son, who was the uh, recording artist Juice World, after his um, accidental overdose. Um, so I started the foundation to normalize the conversation around mental health and substance dependency and to provide resources for those who are struggling so they will not suffer in silence. And one of the things we've done was formed a partnership with the Crisis Text Line to provide help and support for those who are struggling. I'm so sorry for your loss. I really am. Thank you. Camilla, can you tell me, you uh, also have a big hand in uh, Live Free 999. Can you tell us your role? So I'm Dr. Shairi Turner. I'm the Chief Health Officer at Crisis Text Line, and we're proud of our partnership with Live Free 999 because it allows us to destigmatize uh, mental health and also increase awareness about Crisis Text Line as a resource. So Crisis Text Line provides free 24-7 mental health support and crisis intervention solely on a text platform. So we're really reaching that key demographic of 18 to 24, and we're available in English and in Spanish. So anyone can text LF999 to 741741 and receive support from a live volunteer crisis counselor who's supervised by our mental health professional. And we say a crisis to you is a crisis to us, which means we can support anything from relationships, substance use issues, to suicidal ideation. How crucial is it to provide a service like this? So we are in the middle of a youth mental health epidemic. And youth, young people like choices. They like the confidentiality and the anonymity of a text-based service. They can text at any time, from anywhere, and not appear like they're in crisis. And what we found is that 87% of our texters find the conversations helpful and 25% would otherwise have nowhere else to turn. So they leave the conversation feeling um, less distressed and more hopeful. Thank you so very much. I'm going to go to Camilla now. Camilla, I'm so sorry you lost your son, and I want to make that really clear. But how important is it for young Americans to talk about their mental health? Well, just going back with Dr. Dr. Turner said, you know, we're in the epidemic, and they need help, and they're struggling and they're suffering, and what we don't want, we don't want them to struggle alone and suffer in silence. So it's very important they, that they acknowledge and recognize and aggressively do something about it. Uh, there's a new PSA you guys have. How do you hope the new PSA will reach those in need and provide hope for them? Just that, I hope that it, it, it encourages them to get help. I hope it encourages them to know that someone sees them and someone cares and that they take advantage of the resource that is available and, and really reach out and get the help that they may need. Dr. Turner, to sum this all up, why is there such an epidemic that you guys have to create this kind of help for people? So there's so many factors that are contributing to the increase in suicide rates and the increase in depression and anxiety among our young people. You know, the list can include the pandemic, gun violence, climate change, social media. There's, there's so many things that are impacting their lives these days. And, and there's not the support that used to sometimes be there where students would have uh, class, gym classes or um, outdoor activities or other opportunities to connect with uh, young people. And we know that there's a shortage of mental health professionals as well. Where's my audience? Where can they go online and get more information? Because I know someone's listening needs the kind of help you guys are offering. 
So they could go to livefree999.org to learn more. Or they can text LF999 to 741741 or find more resources available on our webpage, uh, crisistextline.org. I want to commend both of you for creating this because this is something that really is needed in our day and our time. I want to thank you, Dr. Turner, and I want to thank you, Camilla, both for joining me here in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks for having us. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Show and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.